Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. We are going to talk about race cars and security certificates today. And that might seem like a pretty big jump to, to connect those two uh, pieces of information, but thanks for joining me and um, I'll give it a try now and show you how we'll connect those two pieces of information. So um, the race car part of this, this is fresh as of this morning. Um, I'm, there's a book that I'm reading and uh, just one little paragraph in a book uh, that in the book that I'm reading talks about this race car driver named Juan Fangio. And um, actually, let me do this. Let me pull up, start sharing my screen and you can take a look at him right over there. You can find him on Wikipedia. And I don't know how many of you are, um, are, are, are Formula One race car fans. I am not. Uh, I enjoy watching things like that, but certainly wouldn't know who this guy is uh, until I read this story. So hang in there with me for a little bit. I'm going to uh, share his story, or at least this little snippet of it, and then I'll show you why that becomes part of what we're going to talk about with security certificates for your website. So here we go. Here's the story. I recently heard the story of Juan Fangio, the champion race car driver who during the 1950 Monaco Grand Prix found himself break, braking as he exited a certain tunnel instead of accelerating as he normally would. Because of this, he was able to avoid a serious crash that had occurred around the next corner, which was invisible to him at the points that he braked. At first, he was unable to explain why he had braked instead of, instead of accelerating. In a dream a few days later, he discovered a very subtle image that had signaled him to, to do what he did. He was a popular driver, and in the past, people at the sidelines along the road always cheered when he emerged from the tunnel. On this day, however, they were looking in the other direction, farther down the track where the accident had occurred. Because his brain was able to perceive this subtle alteration in his usual experience, he subconsciously realized something was wrong and responded by braking instead of accelerating. So pretty neat story. Matter of fact, as I was just looking at the Wikipedia version of this story, if you go down here, there's actually another part of it that's kind of interesting as well. Um, he was kidnapped as part of, uh, part of some revolution stuff that was going on with Cuba. So all kinds of extra interesting things there. Uh, we'll get this link out along with this um, video so you can look at that later if you wish. But here we go. I'm going to tie that a little bit more to uh, the security certificates that we're talking about. And um, I'm not going to go into the details of this, um, deep into the details, I should say. But we do have a blog post all about what's going on with uh, security certificates, uh, at least in the context of the websites that we're providing uh, for our customers, for the websites for printers customers. So we'll link to that as well. But here's what, what I really want to talk about. And um, for, to do that, I'm going to bring up one of our customer websites. Thank you, Becky, at PatriotPrinting.net for, uh, for giving me the okay to bring this up here. I uh, uh, appreciate you allowing me to use your website for the show and tell. But here's the big change that we're talking about in that blog post with security certificates. It's right up here in this corner. Now, in, in this case, I went to the insecure, insecure, the unsecured version of their website. And this is a change that Google's Chrome browser uh, has made. Uh, they're getting a little bit stronger in their warning on, uh, on what shows up there. So if we click on this warning, now you notice I don't have the HTTPS version of the website. That means it's secure. So if I click on that warning, it says right there, your connection to this site is not secure. Not a big deal. We're just looking at a page of information. So in this case, it's okay. But when you get to ordering pages or places where information is being exchanged, that's where you want that web page to be secured. And for our customers, we've always done that on those pages. That has always been a secure connection, but it's becoming more and more important for the rest of the website to become secure as well. And that's what it looks like. So this is, this is where we're going with it. I went to another tab here, the HTTPS version of PatriotPrinting.net. And you can see that if we click that, um, it says secure right up in the address bar, and it says a secure connection, your information. For example, passwords or credit card numbers is private when sent to this site. So that's a good thing. So 
why the change? Well, we explain it in that blog post, so you can look at the details there. But here's really what it is, is Google Google says so. That's the change. Google is saying it's much more important now to have secure web pages throughout the website. And um, it used to be that that was kind of a nice extra to have because it would improve secure um, uh, your SEO performance with Google and it would uh, improve the feeling of trust people have when they come to your website. But it hasn't been that big of a deal until now because Google's starting to get a little more aggressive on that. And they're saying that all websites should be secure. So that is something that we're going to be rolling out to all of our websites. We feel that that's an important enough change that um, it needs to be a part of the base website that we offer. Just to step aside just for a little moment, if I'm going to pull up one other blog post, and again, we'll put the link to this out there along with, uh, with the recording of this video. But if I go to this blog post, um, we're talking about the flexible website pricing plan. Um, that's the pricing that we're transitioning to on January 1st, 2018. And at the very bottom of all this, we talk about making security certificates available as an option. But we have this update because now we're saying it's no longer an option. Google says this is a big deal. It needs to be there. So we've updated this post and we're saying it's not an option anymore. You don't have to pay extra for this. It's important enough that we are including it in the base website for all of our customers. So I want to make sure that you are aware of that. Now, um, let's get back to here and we're going to just kind of wrap this up rather quickly. Um, it's important because Google said so, but it's also important, going back to um, our race car driver here, it's also important because, listen to what that last line of what I read to you, I'm going to read it again. Back to the race car driver, because his brain was able to perceive this subtle alteration in his usual experience, he subconsciously realized something was wrong and responded by braking instead of accelerating. And that's why this is so important, because that's what's going to happen to your website visitors as well. Google is going to be making a bigger deal about this, about um, about having that secure web page. And if your customers and website visitors come to your website and they're not seeing that security certificate in place, maybe not right away, maybe not the first, second or even the third time, but sooner or later, they're going to subconsciously realize that something's wrong here and they might lose a little bit more trust in your website. That's why this is so important. And that's why we wanted to make this a little bit stronger than just a regular update for you. We wanted to call it out and really bring your attention to this. It's an example of how we help take care of all that boring, geeky stuff so you don't have to. We want to make sure that you know that that's there for you. A um, couple other things just to wrap it up really quickly. You might be thinking, okay, great, that sounds like more work for me. What do I have to do? Well, the good news there is really nothing, nothing at all. Um, that's something that we're going to take care of for you behind the scenes. Um, I guess there are a couple of things that you do need to be aware of. The first one is that if your customers are used to going to your website and logging in, it does change that a little bit. So the very first time they go back to your website, after that security certificate update has been put in place, they are going to be required to log in again. Not a big deal. Um, the website has all the tools they need to reset their password and retrieve their password and all of that normal stuff. So that's not a big deal, but still want you to be aware of that. And um, the other thing that might affect some of you is if you're connected to Google Analytics or a few of the other things that uh, Google uses your site, you know, uses for tracking your site, you might have to resubmit that information to Google as well. Again, not a huge deal. It takes just a couple of minutes of time. We have the process in place for you with the information that you need. And of course, we're willing to help you do that as well. So there it is. That's the information I wanted to get out to you today. Uh, throwing in a little race car story just to, uh, just to add to it. And uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, listening to this video. Now, get out there and sell some more printing.